Hey everybody, accomplished the impossible here today with a quick little video on something I've been working on uh, out in the California area. This is a communication shed that is actively being used for a GMRS repeater and a Pistar node for amateur radio. And uh, the Pistar is through P25, so but I really want to do a video on this shed because this has been um, a really big undertaking and endeavor. And um, as always, I've been looking at the comments on the other videos. I appreciate everybody's input. So um, let's get to it. Okay, bear with me. This is the first video I'm doing of this. So uh, I'm trying to go through it as easy as I can. Um, this guy right here is the shed itself. I call it the shed. It's really a communication shelter. But I have pretty much everything a communication shelter would need on it to be a functioning site. Um, we have a 240 volt service, which is a 50 amp. We have a mini split, which works really well. And we have an outbound port with some coax that's going to our repeater tower up on the hillside. That is a GMRS antenna. And um, I just got that stuff installed today and I put concreted these posts in here to get my ice bridge assembled later this is all a home-built project so I'm trying to do it right the first time we have some grounding down there there's a ground rod driven into the ground way down there with a two gauge ground wire we'll go inside and give you a quick look there's not a whole lot going on in here but it is pretty neat um, so here is the mini split like I said, it's brand new, so I still have the label on it. Then I got my ladder rack, ladder rack going above here. I got a ceiling fan to really get that air moving. And I have the mini split at 75, but I usually just leave it at 80. And it's only on about three hours a day uh, just to cool it in the afternoons. Usually this, this little room stays pretty ambiently cooled around uh, 78 is kind of the average. Uh, so this is the rack here. And let me get some light on because it's kind of dark. Give me one sec. There we go. So um, this is a 19 inch two post rack. Nothing special. And we have some equipment up here. This is just my access point. I have fiber optic coming from provider right here. This is my fiber optic and I have a GMRS tune duplexer and my Motorola Quantar. So, well, there's a couple of guys in the video or in the YouTube channel that like Quantars. Here's Quantar. Here is a uh, 3KW, I believe, battery backup. Uh, brand new batteries. I have the battery stack and then I have the backup itself. And this usually runs the repeater and all the equipment for about six hours. Um, actually, that was about the test I had with six hours of wind time, and it was pretty decent because by then I can just get a generator. We got the switch here. This is just a little one gigabit switch I got for free, um, and some Ethernet going off of it to whatnot. And then I have a this is the controller for the Quantar, which is just a little desktop tiny computer. There's Raspberry Pi for the Pi Star system, and then this is just an ATA system for a phone line. Uh, I was doing some experimenting with with the controller, and then those are my fiber optic patch pa uh, patch panel. No labels yet. We're getting there. It's been a whole lot of work trying to get this thing done, but got the grounding done. This is the ground bar. This goes out to that grounding rod outside, and this is the ground wire that runs up to the ground bar up the stairs here. So um, follow this guy over. Here is some ladder rack that I got. So it's pretty expensive. I think it ran me about $180, $180 for a 12 foot section, I believe. Um, and then I just kind of have my desk in here right now. So whenever I'm out here, I can do office work and do some troubleshooting on the repeater if I need to. I got extra wiring. Um, I got just uh, an old XP laptop to program the XCS 3000 series radios. And I got a new radio too. This is the Harris XG75 radio. I finally got RPM1 and RPM2 software, so I really like these radios. I per actually prefer to use these over the older Motorola's I have. They're just really nice systems. 
Um, so this building was really designed with the ideally uh, ideal ambient passive cooling in mind. Um, the, way, what, the way it was supposed to be was this window here when it's not blaring in sunlight. Uh, this window you usually leave a, bit, a little bit of a crack and then these windows up here get opened all the way up. What that allows is it allows the hot air to rise and come out of the window and it essentially lets this window be an intake for cooler air. And it's actually been working really well. In the afternoons, the hottest it gets in here is about 83. Um, and today was in, it was about a 95 degree day. So it was very, very uh, productive. And I really just have the mini split for those scenarios where we might get a weird hot snap of 105, 100 degrees straight for a while. And I really need to get this place down to 80 degrees for just standard ventilation. Um, so other than that, I mean, this thing really doesn't run. If I'm here doing some service on the equipment, um, this will be running just to keep myself in a good good temp. Um, 75 is pretty much fine. But um, really not a whole lot to this room. This is pretty much everything there is. There's my breaker panel there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So this is a quick video. There's more to come on this. This is kind of like a part one. Once I get my ice bridge thing set up, I'll take a video of that and update everybody on it. But um, this will be my comm shed or outdoor communication shed part one. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or input, you want to see some um, things that you guys might say, hey, you might want to do this because of this, this suggestion, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm open to anything. And uh, so I know people are going to say that they want insulation on this thing, but I mean, it's so small. This room's only an eight by eight. It's really, really not that big. So um, there's not really a need for any insulation. The hot, like I said, the hottest it's gotten in here so far is about 83. Um, the mini split kind of takes care of that. And like I said, it doesn't have to run a whole lot. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Quick little video. Just wanted to get something out there to show what I was doing. Um, I'm glad everybody enjoyed the other videos with the long line cell site, stuff like that. So have a good day.